Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Let's take a look again at the Bitcoin market. Currently, probably, guys, it's the most interesting market. It's because, as we discussed today, in gold market and euro currency, overall performance stands mostly the same as the, through the whole previous week. So, actually, market is going higher, but it's very slow and chop action. While on the Bitcoin, we see the drastic shifts, especially in uh, yesterday, actually. Uh, so, we've got the upward performance. Well, uh, actually, last time when we have prepared the update, on, on Monday, we have hint, um, have made the hint on the possible action that we see right now. But uh, at that moment, it was, uh, well, not as probable. And uh, we have postponed the discussion for a later time. If indeed we will see the action for, for that make it uh, well, reasonable for discussion. And currently, is our intraday targets have been exceeded. So market jumps above the hourly chart XOP that we discussed last time. We have to increase the scale. Now we have to take a look at a bit larger patterns that are forming. Uh, despite that, we see really impressive action. Uh, I, I think that it's a bit too early to uh, speak about drastic shift and dra drastic change in the overall performance and the major trend. My opinion that markets uh, underestimate the actual undervalue, the hawkishness of the Fed and uh, sooner rather than later, but it will make the impact on market performance. So it seems that market's a bit uh, over inspiring uh, concerning the recent events and so on. So it's also interesting to see what really is going on, why we see this type of the performance. Hardly it is triggered just by the expectation of the CPI numbers. It seems that some technical support exists currently at this point we are we can't see it because the data on the money supply in the United States are usually releases with uh, some with some delay. But in perspective of one, maybe two weeks, we definitely will know what, what is going on. I suspect that maybe some additional injection of the liquidity has happened. As you could see, outstanding rally, not only on the Bitcoin, but also, for example, on the European currency, uh, on European stocks, which is in the current situation in the industri industrial sector of the European Union seems at least curious. So anyway, um, what we have currently on the um, weekly chart. The weekly chart trend remains bullish. Price action also starts showing some bullish action. But at this point, I would consider a uh, situation on the hourly chart. You could see, actually, this is the pattern that we were talking about last time. We said that if somehow market will still ex exist, uh, an area around 1760, where it was the XOP, hourly chart and XOP, we think what to do next. In the current circumstances, uh, we're considering this type of ABCD pattern. What should be said about this pattern? First of all, if you intend to take the long position on the Bitcoin, you have to control that these points will be bro will be broken by the market. So market has to spam, move above the P point. Otherwise, if it will not be taken out, market will keep chances for the downside butterfly. If something drastic will change, uh, for for example, I don't know, superb CPI numbers will be released and market just start collapsing. So it, it will be a sign for the butterfly because this is actually the key for upper continuation. Potentially, this pattern leads us to 1920 area, which is create really strong, solid resistance, not only because of the ABCD target, but it's also take a little confidence resistance in this area. And this natural support resistance line actually will be retesting of the previous loss. But all these fruits still stands ahead. So we do not have it yet. And what thing that have to be concerned today is the performance right there. So market, as I said, have to move above the B point to keep this pattern well. Otherwise, risks will remain that it might be downside reversal. Uh, this is the first moment. On the four hour time frame chart, it's another pattern exists. If you remember, we have long lasting channel sideways action that market already has tested three times here. This was another attempt to go higher. And right now it's another one. And currently market still stands below this top is below than this one. Uh, potentially, if we will get the breakout, 
we could get this butterfly with 1618 extension around 1960. So it's very close to the destination point on a daily chart. So by this butterfly, market could lead market to completion of the, uh, this big ABCD pattern and to reach the confidence resistance on a daily. In this case, everything will be good. So um, how you could possess yourself for this trading? Uh, I would suspect that, well, most conservative things and, most, and major validation points, of course, will stand right there. This is uh, technically correct levels. So if market will drop below it, it will tell you that, yes, bullish context probably has been broken because market simultaneously will erase as a butterfly, as daily ABCD patient. If it will drop below the C point simultaneously, we, will, we, we are start getting the guardless, uh, sorry, butterfly, guardless butterfly actually to the downside. But it's, it seems right now too far. So nobody would like to take the stops with the $2,000 Bitcoin from technical trading. That's why uh, alternatively you could keep watching for market performance because a level that has to be taken out stands very close. Market is not at ever bad here. So you could see that actually no longer bad. It recently has been has broken for the confidence resistance around uh 1760 error that we have here with this actually three eight levels i will show you where we previously had um sorry well we previously had this uh 30 percent level if you remember 1775 this also also xop if you remember on the hour chart that we discussed last time the market now has been broken through it so theoretically market now stands at relatively free space with uh, no significant barriers ahead until this major resistance level. And from that standpoint, if market indeed stands bullish, it should keep going higher, it should take it out to this top and it should not reverse the recent rally and turn down. And from that standpoint, you could consider this level as some kind of invalidation point. So market should not reverse this recent rally. And uh, from that standpoint, you could use this level or maybe 618 level to stop placing and consider these two lower levels for a possible entry. So you could take a bit right there around 18 even. If market will drop back to the 1770 uh, confidence support, you could add the bulk of your position right there. So for instance, 30 percent here, 60 or 70 percent here with the stops either below this level. Uh, or even below the 618. So this depends on your risk management, your assets that you have on the uh, on, on account and your position side. So that's approximately things that you could consider. Um, if it will be just outstanding CPI numbers, very high and this market will show the strong sharp reversal, of course, in this case, you should not consider taking the long position. I'm speaking about the gradual retracement if we'll get uh, just the pullback here, uh, that would be considered. And then when the position will be taken, you just need to control the taking out of this top. If this will happen, the markets will keep going with this performance. That's OK. So your stands in safe, your position is safe. You could move stops to the break even and see what will happen next. Um, if not, and market starts erasing this recent rally, you should be worried about it because it might be the sign of weakness and that market could start downward action. Probably some fundamental background should be for this action. That's approximately that we could keep an eye on Bitcoin right now.